Desuri, Mosi, and Soma. There are three ethnic groups that inhabit generally the southern Ethiopia and share some cultural similarities, although there are some differences. You are going to hear me talk about them interchangeably in this episode. The Mosi tribe are closely related to the Suri tribe and they share a similar culture. If I had to say they share the same common way of life. Welcome. To Kimura 17 TV, Loom of Documentaries. Her mind is okay. Her mother, the Morali, born and bred in the Gutaku, Oja Gili. Please do well to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell for new videos. <laughs> the summer, also known as the Suri, are an ethnic group that inhabit the southern part of Ethiopia particularly in the Omo Valley and also in the neighboring part of the South Sudan. On their population, the exact population of the Soma tribe is not known, but estimates suggest that there are between 20,000 and 50,000 members of the tribe. On their language, the Soma tribe speaks Suri or Soma or even mostly because I told you they are closely related in terms of cultural practices. So it is an oral language which means that it is not a written language. For the summer culture, they are known for their distinctive practices and traditional traditional body painting that is the summer known for their intricate body painting which is often done usually using natural pigments. The design of their body are usually symbolic and represent aspects of their person's identity. Just like their summer boys, when they go on game that is hunting, they do some paintings on their face as you can see on the screen to make them scary for any invaders or attack that they want to face. Then what of scarification? Scarification is a common practice among the summer people, particularly among the men. The scars are intentionally created by making small cuts in the skin and rubbing ash, patches, or other substances into the wound to turn to permanent scars. These scars are seen as a sign of bravery and strength. These are people that they intentionally cut their skin. They cut their skin intentionally just to ensure, just to test their bravery or strength. And this they are known for. What about the lip plates? The lip plate is, very, is particularly to those of the Morsi, though some part of the Suri and the summer, they practice it as well. You know, the summer women wear lip plates, you know, their mouth, cut it. Make a hole there, which are large circular discs that are inserted into a hole in the lower lip. Now, is it large? Is it actually large plates? No. They start with a very small one. It will extend. It will extend. It will extend. And this practice is considered a sign of beauty, and is believed to make women more attractive to potential suitors. My God person piercing your lips and that one makes you attracted to the potential suitors that is what we call the difference in cultural life piercing lips and inserting plates lip plates are a strong part of the Suri culture at puberty most young women have their lower lips lower teeth they remove it in order to get their lower lip pierced, they remove their lower teeth. That's at puberty when they're getting to the age of marriage. You know, it's quite funny most times. It's funny. You just blow your lips because of. Then another cultural practice is they have is cattle heading. The people of Soman are primarily cattle headers and place a great deal of importance 
on their livestock. Cattle are often used as a form of currency and also an important part of cultural rituals and ceremonies like wedding and burials. Stick fighting occurs again. This is most noticeable among the summer men as a form of traditional sports. The most as well as practiced what we call stick fighting. It is a way to attract potential suitors that is for the men. You know, for the women, it is the lip plate that is going to attract their potential suitors. They're putting on a plate on it, and that makes them attractive. But to the men, stick fighting. You know, and this one will make them to be somehow show their bravery, their bravery, how, how, how so fit, how so strengthful they are. The stick fighting might inflict injuries, might inflict anything, but they don't care. They don't care in as much as they are satisfied with what that because this is a way into you going into independent life. And they are normally large people, like 20 or 10 facing each other and at the end of the day, winner and match. Then the lady that loves them, they, they show up their case. And they also practice under cultural practices. They, just as I told you, the majority of them they are they are, they are agriculturalists, while some of them they are pastoralists. So it's just that the summer people also practice agriculture, primarily growing shogun, maize, and other crops. Traditional farming method is used and they rely on rain for irrigation. On summer religion, 97% of the Suri people are animists. What do I mean by animals? They worship things like animals, trees. Why we just have this? They have a Suri, the, the Suri have a sky god named Tumu. Few percentage of them are Christians. The Suri are known for their rain making, which is a skill that is passed down to a male in a specific clan. That's what they are noticed, they are notable for. Suri marriage. Marriage is carefully observed, although sexual liaison between members of normally you know, the same clan do occur. Marriages are usually arranged after rainy season, dwelling contests have ended, that is the sanguistic fighting. At the time, a girl have, having watched the contest, that is a lady, watch the contest, having watched the contest, uh, you know, he has a favorite dwellist there. Dwellist, dwell, dwell. It's just, it's just an arrangement, you know, a regular combat, private, private two two private person. They are fighting to take them a trophy or something. You know, the possibility of uh, the marriage allegiance is tested, and the possibility is the preference of the girl and the amount of uh, the bride uh, worth that the girl is going to. Uh, they are going to pay for the game. After this one, the marriage is organized. Then with beer, songs and dance, the rituals, entrance and real, it's, it's, it's the rituals and entrance of, of every other thing comes in play. But mind you, divorce is very, very rare among them. And if it occurs, bride price will be returned to the to the wife's family. Then you return your wife and then he has access to get married to whoever he wants to do. On summer houses and buildings, you know, summer houses are generally circular or rectangular in shape, and they are built by digging a circular pit into the ground, which is the line, which is then lined, you know, it lines uh, with the it lies with the stones and mud. The walls are made of mud, and uh, they are reinforced with wooden posts. So you have a post to reinforce, and the roof is made of tash. The houses are usually small with one or two rooms. Now, you know, having mentioned all these ones, the Suri, Soma, and Musi are three distinct ethnic groups that inhabit the same <coughs> general area of southwestern Ethiopia. They share some cultural similarities but also have some distinct differences. The Suri and Soma people are usually two names for the same ethnic group. 
their pastoralists who parallelly rely on cattle for their livelihood. They are known for their body art and elaborate scarification practices, that is, they make a scar in their body. They have some whatsoever perfume, patches, just to make the trap be permanent. They are also they also practice stick fighting, which is tradition which is a traditional sport and used to settle disputes most times. And it's mostly seen as a passage into into being in the, into gaining independence into life. The mostly people on the other hand are primarily agriculturists who rely on crops such as maize, sugar and beans for their subsistence. No, for their survival. They are known for the distinctive lip plate, which are a form of body modification and a symbol of beauty and social status. The Mose people are practiced, they practice what we call stick fighting, but it's less central to their culture than it is to the summer or the Suri people. You know, in summary, we can say. Why the Suri and Soma are the same ethnic group with a pastoralist lifestyle and a focus on body heart and desertification, the Musi are primarily agriculturist with a unique form of body modifications and a less central focus on stick fighting. Now imagine, you know, they are just like uh, the barbarians that believes in the wars that believe in wars and every other thing just to survive this that they believe in what we call survival of the fittest yes just imagine somebody created by god that you just want to pierce your body you want to enjoy your body just to be to claim that you are brave or you have strength no or also a, a, a lady created beautifully and wonderfully made by god you also want to pierce your lips, removing your lower teeth, putting a plate inside just to look beautiful. Of what beautiful do you want? Of all of what beautiful you want to look like? These are what we are trying to say. Culture is just your way of life. I don't know. I just love culture, geography. It's talking about people. Hello. You know, we have different things. When you think that we are. You are different. Check another people's culture. They are different. Yeah. We have the Suri, the Soma, and the Mosi. The theory of them, he yeah, beat the southwestern part of Ethiopia. And the capital city of Ethiopia is Addis Ababa. Dear listeners, on this presentation today, let's end it here. Thank you for watching through. I won't stop giving you an interesting fact about people and culture around the world. Thank you for listening. Do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell for the new video. I won't stop dropping interesting things. You just do well to do your own part by sharing this video. Also, hit the bell for the notification. Thank you very much. Do not forget to like come your way again. My name is Okio Morgan. The moral is born and bred in Ibutaku Oja Gili. Today, remain blessed.